What's up guys, it's Adam from Adam's Trail Notes and today we are out here photographing the full moon. So I'm gonna teach you all the settings, tips and tricks that you can get to capture great moon shots and it's gonna be a fun one. And don't forget, your trail mix. Sponsored, non-sponsored, by Trail Mix. Hopefully one day soon. It's actually because of Jude. He made one joke about Adam's Trail Notes, Adam's Trail Mix, so this is why I carry this around everywhere we go for videos now. So thank you, Jude. I thought that was a genuine thing. I really wanted to eat that Trail Mix, Jude. No, it's been in, it's, it's like a month old. Right. It's Trail Mix. It lasts for such I a long time. Know. Well, no, it's for the video. You don't eat it. So this is not for eating purposes, <laughs> Jude. This is for video purposes. I'm not joking. As we were walking down here, I contemplated opening that thing like five times. I swear to God, if you would have done that. This is my only trail mix bag in my house. I don't want to buy another one. For photographing the moon, you need uh, like three main parts. All right, so you need a sturdy tripod, you need a camera, and you need a long lens. So I have a 70 to 300 millimeter on, and that's because you want to zoom into the moon, because the moon is obviously far away, and if you want it pretty uh, big in the frame, you're going to have to zoom into it so you don't have to crop as much in editing. Um, I have a tripod just because when you are zoomed in at such a, a long focal length, the tiniest vibration can really affect the photo, so you want your picture stable. That's why I don't recommend, at least for beginners trying to do handheld. You can, but it is harder to get a more uh, sharp shot. You'll probably notice that the moon's gonna be moving. Or... So I'm using a long lens. I'm gonna be shooting at around 300 millimeters, sturdy tripod. I'm gonna have a two second timer on. So that means when I take the picture, it's gonna wait two seconds before it actually takes the picture. So it minimizes all the vibration that uh, happens when I touch the camera. The number one important thing I see with moon photography is you wanna get it as sharp as possible. So that deals with either uh, not bumping the camera and making sure the moon is in focus. Now it is pretty easy to focus on the moon just because it's a pretty bright object. So just zoom in all the way on it through the LCD screen. And then all you have to do is just zoom in, slightly move your focus ring and you wanna be in manual focus and just slightly move it. Um, until everything's focused and you can see all those little craters all detailed so it's gonna be nice Before you even take your moon shots a great way is to plan the moon shots And that's a more advanced level of uh, if you see these moon shots where it's um, on top of a lighthouse or next to a certain structure A lot of these people plan for months and months to get the moon exactly where it needs to be and you can use photo pills It's a great app to plan where the moon's gonna be It tells you when the moon's gonna rise when it's gonna set and where exactly it's gonna be dependent on your location so I'm gonna open up photo pills here. So we're in photo pills, we're gonna press the moon icon and we're going to press AR. And now we are going to press now and you can see the moon is gonna rise right on top of that mountain. So I can scroll a little bit and it's gonna rise about 724, 727. It's gonna be right at that mountain. And that's a really cool way so I know where to position my camera, especially if I wanted to take a time lapse. I don't have to kind of guess where I think the moon's gonna be. It's gonna tell me exactly. It's a really nice app, and then I can just go, um, if I want to know where it's going to be in the middle of the night, all stuff like that. So PhotoPills is a very great app, especially for planning your moon shots out. A very common beginner's mistake uh, when photographing the moon is they tend to blow it out, and that's because they think, uh, because it's so dark out, that you need to have settings that replicate uh, dark skies, like when you are shooting the stars. That is not the case for the moon because the moon is so bright. So you're going to want to keep your settings very low, meaning you want an ISO of at least 100, Aperture of f8 to f11 so you can maintain sharpness with the moon and then shutter speed is going to be around 150th to 160th And that's of course just going to be going to depend on when you are shooting the moon and looking through live view How uh, exposed the moon looks to you because you don't want to overexpose the moon because you can't bring that back in editing So basically you have your settings and then you're going to have a two second timer or an intervalometer maybe and then take some pictures and let's see what we get It's not out yet, so we're not gonna really get anything yet. This morning we are going to be photographing the moon set at the beach. Um, I just woke up, made my bed, you know, always make your bed. So I'm gonna get ready and drive down to the beach. Let's get to it. Alright, so I'm loaded up. I got my camera bag, my towel to put my things on, tripod, and my drone for a little later. It's a very clear night. You can see the moon right there. 
sick. All right, cool. So we're gonna go down on the beach. It's like a 10 minute drive. See where the moon's at, and you know, get get the shot set up. So it's gonna be fun. All right. All right. Now we are at the beach, and you can see the moon right there. It's pretty cool. Uh, I got two cameras set up down there. Um, one with a long lens, like a 70 to 300 millimeter. Uh, hopefully, I'm gonna get a nice moon set time lapse as it goes down. Um, we're just waiting here. Saw some runners. Some woman this dog was so incredibly small I thought it was like a bug like it was running real like behind her I'm like oh my gosh but yeah, it's actually pretty nice and peaceful you know not that many people are out so yeah hopefully uh, there's no fog or haze in the horizon we get get a nice uh, moon set so can be posted okay so you can see the moon right there um, it looks like there's a thick layer of like fog right there, which means that in like 10-15 minutes, I don't think the moon's just gonna disappear, and I don't know if we're gonna actually get a moon set on the horizon, which is kind of sad. But you know, it might work out, or I might just get some nice shots at least right now. Uh, I think the sun is almost rising, and then after I'm gonna try out some drone shots. Uh, I've never tried that before at the beach or in the ocean or anything, so that's gonna be fun. And yeah, we're just hoping that the fog kind of goes away so we can get our, our moon set. So, we're trying. Alright. Well, there it goes. Right there. It's going to go behind the clouds. Sadly, I think that's going to be it for this morning. But, you know, we had fun out here. You know, most important part, we got out here. We tried. So... It was still really beautiful, you know, to watch it gleaming on the ocean, so I like that. Um, and we're going to see if we can get any pictures from it, so, yeah. guys we are back in the car and uh the cloud you know stayed there which i thought it would and yeah we're about to drive home i'm very hungry um but i think overall it was, it was not like a complete success but I definitely am glad that I, you know, came out because it's all about trying and learning and keep going. So, yeah, overall, fun process. I think I got some good images out of it. So, yep. All right. Catch you later. Peace. That's guilt that's making you laugh, Adam. No, it's not. That's I'm, guilt. I'm pleasantly happy. Actually, no, because I dragged you. Is there a different type? I'd be joyfully happy. It's different. Pleasant and joyful. Pleasant it's is different. like this is a pleasant cup of tea. This is like a joyful cup of tea. You wouldn't say that about tea. I actually, don't know. I don't. Well, you're using tea. pleasant in different no, word like, terms. No, like 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 the British. Like, oh, this is very pleasant. Like the British. Oh, this is very <laughs> pleasant. Oh, ooh, ooh. hello. That's it. That's it. That's it. If you go out into the world and say, oh, I'm a photographer, you will get stoned to death. Well, okay, I thought it was honestly going to be cloudy when I left, and I was like, oh, then he's just going to film this part and we leave. But, you know, we have a chance. Oh, good. I'm you glad my time is worth the chance. <laughs> I was about to, like, make a U-turn to park, and then, like, the truck, like, backed out. Hey, Adam, look out to that horizon, okay? Yeah. Like, right there, uh -huh. I don't know, you guys can kind of see, like, yep. maybe that, you can almost yeah. see yep. I get where it. I asked. Yeah. So, ah. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you for those words of wisdom. You heard it here first, everyone. <laughs> ah.